I've repeated this several times to the guys and girls, and I don't know if it'll take off as a catchphrase or not, but it's time. It's time we get back to winning ways and get back to being competitive again. We've been down the last couple of years. Um, this is arguably the biggest and most talented roster I've had in several years, so that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about the getting back to being competitive again and renewed attitudes, and I really like the energy moving forward with this relatively larger and newer roster. Large. 26 guys and girls on the roster, 15 girls, 11 guys, 13 are first years, and 14 are first time cross country runners. So the contribution from this team uh, of first years is, will be large, it will be significant, both in numbers, both in com uh, competitive depth, and the other word I would say would be enthusiasm. I think they bring a new energy to the team, a renewed hope, and hopefully some winning ways and some competitiveness again. <laughs> Ben Cotran, you could really see the light bulb go on for him last year during the indoor season. He had a much improved indoor uh, track season and outdoor track, and I would expect that's going to carry over into cross country this year. It looks like he had an excellent summer of training, um, so I really think uh, he'll have a breakout year this year. <laughs> Emma Frazier and Laura Green have been our number one runners the last couple years, both in cross country and track. So I don't know if I identify them as breakout runners, but the two that I think that we lost much of last year due to injury and illness and other issues, Lexi Salerno and Elizabeth O'Connell, uh, more affectionately known as Fizz, I think the two of them have a, a skill set. They are talented enough to easily be our number one runners on any given day and to make significant contributions to the team this year. And there is no doubt that, that if Lexi and Fizz have the kind of breakout seasons that I think they can have, our team is going to be significantly better than last year. The biggest event for me this year and every year is regionals, uh, the last meet of the season, championship meet in November. But this year, we're kind of looking at three different meets as measuring sticks, as gauges throughout the year, one in each month. In September, it's the little three meet. In October, it's the Paul Short meet at Lehigh. And in November, it's back to regionals again. That's the big one. But yeah, one, one uh, meet each month that we're gonna use as a measuring stick, as a gauge of our fitness and as our progress as a team. <laughs> 14 of the 26 guys and girls are new to the team. Um, and like I said earlier, it, it is a renewed enthusiasm, a renewed uh, uh, vigor in, in, in terms of getting back to competitiveness and winning. Uh, so the roster is new, the attitudes are new, and I think the, the level of competition on our team is gonna be new. <laughs> 